in this question it says that uh, what will be the output of the following flowchart below okay read numbers x equals to 10 so this is the variable x which contains the value 10 in the next step it says that y equals to x so this is the variable y which contains the value of x and that is 10 in the next step it says that y equals to x by y plus 2y so we have to calculate the value of this statement x by y plus 2y the value of x is 10 by y which is uh, 10 so plus 2 into 10 so that is 1 plus 20 so that is uh, 21 now the value of y okay now the value of y is uh, 21 so print y and stop so the output of this flowchart will be 21 option b is correct so in this question it says that what will be the output of the following algorithm is the input n from the user is 7 so this is the variable n which contains the value 7 okay so in this step it says that uh, i equals to 1 and x equal to 1 okay so this is i and this is x both contains the value 1 okay so in this question it says that is i less than n okay let's check it so 1 less than 7 so it is true then increment the value i by 1 so the new value of i will be 2 okay in this step uh, so in this step it says that um, x equal to x into i okay so let's take it x and it is i okay so the new value is 2 so the new value is 2 in the next step so again we check that uh, i less than n so obviously 2 less than 7 so increment the value i by 1 so it is it will be 3 so the present value of x is 2 into i that is 3 that will be 6 so now the present value of x is 6 again 3 less than 7 so we have to increment uh, the value i that is that will be 4 so now again we have to find the value x into i and that is a uh, 6 because the present value of x is 6 into i that is 4 that will be 24 so now the present value will change and that will change to 24 okay again 4 less than 7 so we have to increment the value i that will be 5 and uh, now the value of x will be 24 into 5 that is 120 so it will be changed to 120 again 5 less than 7 and it will be increment to 6 so 120 into 6 720 so the new present value of x will be 720 again 6 less than 7 it will incremented by 1 so now the present value of i will be 7 and again it is 720 into 7 that will be 7 4 Five zero. So now the present value of x will be five zero four zero. Okay. Is seven less than seven? Obviously, it is not true. If it is not true, then it says that uh, print x. So the value of x is five zero four zero. So option A is correct. In this question it says that uh, what is the value of y of the flowchart below x is an integer x equals to 1 to 4 8 so this is x which contains 1 2 4 8 Her read x in the next step it says that y equals to 0 this is variable y which contains 0 in the next step it says that y equals to y into 10 plus x modulo 10 okay so y we have to calculate the value of this statement y into 10 plus 
x modulo 10 okay so the value of this statement is the value of y is 0 into 10 plus 1 the value of x is 1 to 4 8 modulo 10 so that is 0 plus 1 to 4 8 modulo 10 is uh, 8 so that is 8 this 8 is assigned to y so the new value of y is 8 in the next step it says that x equals to x by 10 x by 10 the present value of x is 1 2 4 8 divided by 10 so that is 1 2 4 so the present value of x is 1 2 4 1 2 4 in the next step it says that uh, is x equal to 0 so obviously 1 to 4 not equals to 0 so again this loop again this loop will continue okay so again we calculate uh, this value so the present value of y is 8 8 into 10 plus x modulo 10 the present value of x is 124 modulo 10 so that is 80 plus 4 that is 84 the present value of y is 84 in the next step it says that x equals to x by 10 so the present value of x is 1 to 4 divided by 10 that is 12 so the present value of x is 12 so again uh, uh, we will check uh, is x equals to 0 obviously x uh, 12 not equals to obviously 12 not equals to 0 again uh, we check this value and uh, the present value of y is 84 into 10 plus the value of x is 12 modulo 10 so the answer is 840 plus 2 12 modulo 10 equals to 2 that will be 842 and x divided by 10 so the value of x is 12 divided by 10 and that is 1 so the value of x will be 1 and the value of y is uh, 8 4 2 so obviously 1 not equals to 0 so again this loop will go on so again we will calculate the value of this statement and that is uh, y equals to uh, 8 4 2 into 10 plus x modulo 10 x is uh, 1 modulo 10 8 4 2 0 plus 1 modulo 10 is 1 so that is 8 4 2 1 so the present value of y is 8 4 2 1 so the present value of x is uh, 1 1 divided by 10 that will be 0 so the value of x is 0 so in the next step uh, is check that is x equals to 0 so obviously x uh, equals to 0 so uh, if it is yes so print y so the value of of y is uh, 8421 so 8421 will be printed so option c is correct